ADHD major life lesson. The problem is I'm finding out with ADHD brains is we don't tend to listen to signs because we're just so intense and face down, ass up. Like we just go, 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 and we can't stop. It's a brain thing. I think it's also a high achiever, overachiever thing too. Driven, we're just driven to go. It's, I got two speeds, all in or all out. And I, I don't have any in between. So I'm going all out. Stuff like this happen. But usually when stuff like this happen, it's usually because it has nothing to do with me. Or I'm stressing myself out to the point, pushing myself to the point that I'm going to get hurt or something massive is about to happen. Now, this past weekend, doing a diver safety training course, doing a simulation, not the guy's fault. Put my hand in the way to simulate turning him around to catch him from the tank. His hand came, the arm came down, bent my uh, thumb backwards. Ow. That was a big sign. If I don't stop now or slow down or change my thinking, I'm going to get hurt worse. Because now if I reflect back, I had a big ass hydro truck or a power truck fall on my knee and almost shattered my leg. But all it did was severely break my ankle. That was number one. Now, number two is actually my arm here. If you see, you get kind of a bit of a scar there. Well, I was really running the company, pushing myself to the limits, fatigue, stress. And I remember driving into the arena and going, oh, I'm so tired, I should go home. Well, that's another thought. I'll have to talk about more about intuition and gut feel because the gut is very important most times. Very smart, actually. Remembering going in, saying, I'm tired, I should just go home. It was 9.30 because it's hockey in Canada, you can only play late. I went in there, I played. Next thing I know, I was in an ambulance, which is interesting because I test a lot of stuff that's in ambulances. And then in the hospital till two o'clock in the morning with a broken arm split right in half. Not the guy's fault. Well, sort of, but anyways, I'm over that. But to me, sitting down, it was like, you know what? Because what happened next was I was two weeks with a, sh like, and I didn't shatter the arm, I just broke in half. A floppy arm for two weeks before I had surgery. I had to sit at home, and this is at the time where we don't have Office 365 and Apple and everything's all on the cloud and worked well. I had to create a VPN into my office. Luckily, I had a server that can do at the time. Yeah, that, at, for some of you that won't understand what a server is. I sat in a lazy boy for four months running my company. And then I spent eight months sleeping in Lazy Boy because I couldn't sleep back in my chair. So in the end, I kept thinking to myself at that time, I got to make, delegate more, get my team to do more stuff. And to me, that was life saying, you know what? You're not going to do it on your own. So I'm going to have to smack you on the side of the head and force you to do it. So I had no choice because of that broken arm to run it from a distance. I had to rely on the team and it, they extremely surprised me. It went very well. But the key here is we can't let life injure us or get us to the position that we can lose all. I could have lost the company. There's so much that can happen. I know some people have. We got to take care of ourselves, watch our stress levels, watch how much we put in. Like the problem is, is we got a fucking massive heart, a massive heart. We want to help everyone. We fall for stupid jackasses, but you know what? In the end, we got to take care of ourselves, slow it down, spend time with your family and friends. Do the stuff you love to do. Get back in your hobbies. And in the end, it's just a company. It is our baby, but it's just a company. Is it worth dying over, getting extremely sick or injured? I got lucky with this. This could have been completely ripped off and completely ruined my fishing trip coming up. But in the end, look back over any injuries you had or big events that happened that actually furthered your progress and growth. And actually, shit, when I just said that, I never realized I got to learn from those. Those were all times where I actually had the biggest jumps in my success. Broken arm, no choice, delegate, trust my team more. I can do less to get us into more trouble and get stuff done. Broken finger, well, not broken, severely sprained, but slow down, start. My biggest lesson with this one has to be now I just got to make sure that what I'm getting into with the relationships and the people make sense and that they serve me as well as everyone, not just everyone else. And I think that's the big key out of this rant that I have is make sure that what you're going to do and get involved with serves you first and not only everyone else. Because if it doesn't serve you, you can't give it your all. 
you don't, you're not passionate about it. You're going to stress yourself to get into the stuff. We've got to put ourselves first. We have to stop putting everyone else first. It may sound selfish. That's how society is teaching you. But you know what? That's the manipulative society telling you that. Because people like us want to serve. We want to help others. Yes, maybe because of the ADHD, the negativity we've got, we just want to feel appreciated. But also, when I'm, when I'm talking to a lot of ADHD brains, high achieving brains, we just want to serve and help others. And we get wrapped up in that. So, injuries. Take care of yourself. Don't get injured. Or at least get injured smaller. That's not earth shattering. Like my ankle was where I was laid out for quite a few weeks and then quite a few months with my arm. But look back, those were all times probably you succeeded or you had an amplification of success after that. So let me know what you think about this and uh, write down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys and your experiences and even your even your stuff, how, you, you, how you've strategized and created your own system. So thanks again for listening to my rant. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for learning.